Hi Cappies, Narai here going to do a quick reading for you guys today. I hope you are well. Please know to take what fits and leave the rest as this is not a personal reading. Messages and guidance. I will recommend that you please watch the video. You know what? I'm actually going to connect it to the end of this one. It's going to be at the end. Um, it's about trusting people when you show when they show you who they are like trusting that they're actually showing you who they genuinely are at the core Ooh, okay why am i having difficulty this is going to be a quick reading so we're going to see what comes out just a few cards spirit manifesting i think that was a conflict card the five of wands Ooh, that flipped over on the bottom so here we go. Oh, that. Oh my God. Okay, great, great, great. It's not the five of wands. It's the three of wands. Oh. <laughs> I cannot even make this up if I wanted to. Okay, here's what we have. You guys are manifesting. You guys are actually putting in effort and taking action. And I say that because of the fact that the three of wands showed up. <clears throat> Excuse me. You are. Thank you for liking my video. Thank you for the support. Also, I want to put that out there. You guys are manifesting. You guys have all the tools. It's kind of making me feel like Cap some of you Capricorns are tired of waiting. Like, you know, prayer is not enough. You actually have to change things in your life some of you change things about yourself and so I see some of you really concentrating and putting effort into the things that you want like really putting your energy out there trying to make sure your energy is good all the time because we attract what we are um, is the saying and how it goes but I see you guys no, you are not interrupting my Capricorn reading. But this is about you guys taking action. It's like you want to see what else is out there because you know there's something that's destined for you. And you're not just not just hoping and wishing and waiting, but you're actually doing something about it. So for me, that lets me know that you guys are journaling. You guys are writing things down. You guys are trying to surround yourself with positive energy and people that have that type of energy some of you are getting out there putting yourself out there being more social um, and it's because you are trying to be in alignment with love you want love in your life a lot of you don't need the love in your life but it would be nice to have it to have that person that is actually your person and wants to be your person you know so this is a divine, a beautiful divine connection. You want a relationship full of passion and full of honesty and trust. And you are coming into alignment with that. And I know that's been coming out in my readings. And believe it or not, as a tarot reader, I, always, I get excited for the love readings. But I get so tired of the love readings. But that's what comes out when I do my readings. Because I don't typically ask a question. I'm just doing a reading for a general reading and that's what comes out a majority of the time. But this is you guys also, for some of you that are not looking for love, it has to do with a major decision that needs to be made, like a big choice. There's like an important or big choice that may need to be made. But your luck is changing. Spirit wants you to know that your luck is changing with the will of fortune. It's like you're rolling towards what you are destined for. And the reason that your luck is changing and, and you're deciding that certain things are worth gambling on is because you've learned to move on to calmer waters. When something starts, when you notice a pattern and something isn't good and it starts offloading into your life and, and adding drama and baggage to the stuff you already have happening and going on because we all already have things going on you move away and for some of you 
you may actually be with someone trying to see what else is out there and manifest new love but honestly it won't happen until you move away from the person that you're with some of you may be the type of individuals and this isn't everyone cross watcher feel free to reverse the roles whatever some of you jump from a relationship to relationship it's really not fair to the next person that you immediately get out of a relationship and get into one with them especially if you have healing to do so for some of you your luck will not change until you move on to calmer waters because essentially some people don't realize sometimes when you jump from thing to thing as far as the relationships you're kind of bringing drama from the last relationship into the new one because you still have that energy with you so whatever it is if you're man if you're single and you're manifesting you're gonna find your wish fulfillment and you may be somebody's wish fulfillment and then if you're single excuse me if you're involved and you're looking for love just get out of whatever it is that you're in don't act codependent to me codependent people have to be in relationships all the time I don't know that's just me my unsolicited untruth opinion so move on to calmer waters and you will find your wish fulfillment and for some of you will actually be wish fulfillment for someone all right so we're going to pull i don't know why i want to use this deck but we're going to pull from here really quickly all right thank you faith miraculously amazingly everything I need always comes love is opening me to receive beyond anything I imagine if this isn't confirmation I don't know what is Capricorn two of my favorite things hummingbirds and lotus flowers and through the mud and through the drama and through the pain like a lotus flower you always emerge through the muddy waters and bloom beautifully okay remember that awesome that's what i have for you capricorn i love you guys have a great day hit the like button share subscribe you know whatever do you bye